Let's check out focus palettes. Let's clear sneak enter one more time. And we're gonna bring up group 12 to full. And I'm gonna focus everything on the desk. Once I've tilted them up, I can select each fixture individually using our next and last buttons. Pan that guy over here. Next. Next. Next again. All right, now that all of those fixtures are pointed at our desk, I can record that as a focus palette. Let's select last and record that as focus palette one. I'm gonna use my focus palette button here in ML controls and we will label that desk. Let's clear sneak enter just to double check our work. I say group 12 at full, focus palette one, enter. Those go right back to where I put them. Notice in our tile display, it shows our label, which says desk. If I need to see which focus palette that is, I can hold my about button and press label, and the tile display will change to show that it's focus palette one. There's another tool in the console called highlight, which is very useful for creating focus palettes. To demonstrate that, Let's clear sneak enter. I'm gonna turn on highlight mode, which is a soft key. More soft keys, highlight, enter. You'll notice the command line now has the word highlight before the colon. This means we're in highlight mode. So now I can select a group of fixtures, say group 12, enter. Those will immediately turn to full. And I can use my next and last keys to select them. From this point forward, only one fixture at a time will be on. Any other fixtures that are on at the time you turn on this highlight mode will go to zero so that you can quickly focus your moving lights. I wanna focus those on our performer upstage center. So I'm gonna reselect all of them and tilt them up. Now that I've gotten close, I can use highlight to select each fixture one at a time quickly our first one. Next. Next. That one's pretty good already. Next. Next. I say select last. It will turn on all the fixtures again. From here I can record focus palette 2. So record. My focus palette button in ML controls 2. And we're going to label this upstage center. To get out of highlight mode, all I have to do is press highlight once. This will restore the cue to the previous look. There are a few more focus palettes to create that you can find in your workbook. Go ahead and write those and come on back.